What's going on folks? Welcome back. I'm gonna do a four hour combination pike fish and I'm gonna jig in between my flags going up. I am fishing a place that is notoriously a little slower for pike but I only had four hours. I have to pick my daughter up at school so I couldn't travel too far away from home so this is a <coughs> So this is where I decided to go. I almost went back to that pond. I caught all them fish with a flasher, but decided I want to come out here instead. But this place has pike, both types of bass, white perch, yellow perch, crappy, had just about everything. So I figured I'd come out here and maybe pick some pike up and get a few on the flasher too. But Just had a fish show up. Nice big red flash on the screen here. Fish on the screen. Nice mark. And he's gone, just like that. Just had a fish come up, but I think he probably took my bait. That fish came right up off the bottom and looked at it again. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, I just had a flag go up, so I gotta go grab that. First flag of the day. So that fish hit my jig at least three times, but just could not get that fish to actually commit enough so I could hook the darn thing. Hoping this is a fish. I had a few bait flags earlier that I pretty much knew were bait flags. Please be a fish. Got something. We got something. Fish on. It doesn't appear like it's very big. Uh, I think we have a pike. I can't tell. Just when that fish comes up to the surface, it takes off. Bad little pike. Just a little guy, a little two footer. Not a bad little fish to start the day with. Yep, fish is down there. He came right up for it. Before the jig even got to the bottom, he was on it. There's a fish down there, I'm getting a nice mark, but that fish just will not, will not commit to it. Here he comes. Ah! He keeps hitting it, but he's just not getting it. I don't know how that fish has not got hooked yet. All right, I worked that fish with a jig rod for probably about three or four minutes, and he hit one more time, but took off after that. So I'm gonna go rebate this flag, and I'm gonna try jigging out a little deeper, see how that goes. Potentially could be a good hole. It looks like there's some activity already on the bottom. Come on, hit it. Ah, same thing, they're just barely touching it. Well, I'm gonna change jigs. They don't really seem like they're hitting that one very well. Got a fish coming up. Couple fish. There's fish down there, but they're just being really finicky. I changed jigs and fish was on it immediately. I'm only about 10 feet down and there's already fish coming up from my jig, but they, uh, they're not hitting it very hard today. Got him, got that one. If 
Boat time. Boat time. Jeez. Oh yeah, nice white perch. That's what I'm looking for. This is one of my favorite fish. This is a white perch. Lakes are full of them up here. These are great eating fish. Um, I'm not keeping any today, but um, still a, a blast to catch. There we go, nice white perch. Off of a hand tied jig. I tied this up last night with some of my fly tying stuff. And uh, we have a flag up. Yeah, just bait fly. Oh, fish, fish. Had a fish come up, but I think he took my uh, took the bait. All right, coming right up for it. Uh, little tiny white perch, just a baby, a little guy. There was two or three fish with that one. There was just red marks everywhere. Oh, we got a fish on the screen. Just had a fish come in, took right off. Looked at it and was gone. Jeez, just a little micro perch. All right, we have some interest already. The fish just came too, f got him. That feels like a better fish. There we go, a little bit of a white perch. This fish came two feet off the bottom. After looking at it a bunch, I moved it two feet off bottom and he came right up for it. It would be a good eater size white perch, but I'm gonna send it back down. Got him. Just barely hit that. Just barely saw that rod tip bounce. A bunch of fish down there. I bet they're all these little tiny micro perch. There's fish down there, but they're being a little fussy. Alright, here comes one coming right up for it. That one came up about two feet for it. Got him. Oh yeah, this is a better fish. This is a better fish, oh yeah. Whatever this is, this is a nice one. Whether it's a nice perch or could be a bass, crappy. It's a much better fish. Definitely a bass or a pike, one or the other. This potentially could be a pike. Pretty much not able to budge this fish. Peeling out line. This fish was looking at it about a foot off bottom. And I moved it two feet up and that fish hit it immediately. This has got to be a pike. I'd be surprised if a bass was fighting this much. It's probably like a 26, 27 inch pike, but on this little jig rod, it, uh, it's hard to make any headway even on a fish that size. Just about ready. Down he goes again. go. Nice fat little pike. <clears throat> Not a big one, but he's a uh, he's a thick one. He's chunky. He's been eating well. He's got that little jig right in the corner of the mouth. Not bad. I'll take it. Oh there. I have four pike traps set out and I caught the biggest pike of the day off the little tiny micro jig. Go from catching little five, six inch perch to that pike, that was pretty cool. This is my last piece of night crawler. <sighs> then I'm gonna have to go cut up a piece of dead sucker. All right, we got a fish marked. Coming up for it. Oh, right back down to the bottom. Oh, no, he's coming right back up for it. This fish must be hungry, he's up a uh, Got him. Nice little white perch. This guy was hungry. He came up off the bottom about a foot, hit it, missed it. I brought it up two feet, expecting he uh, took my bait and I followed it right up and hit it again. I am out of night crawlers now, so I gotta go uh, cut up a dead sucker. All right, let's see how the sucker does. Yeah, I've got a fish on that immediately. 
so many fish down there right now. Got him. Uh, this feels like a decent fish. Probably a nice perch. Oh yeah, nice perch, nice perch, yeah. Perfect. Look at that guy. That's what I'm after, big perch like that. That's a uh, probably 12 inch perch. Just starting to get a little bit of a humpback on him. He came right up and hit that sucker. Perfect. Sorry, little guy. Them are the size I want. Them ones right there, them nice big uh, humpbacks. Oh, fish coming right up for it. I was about five feet off bottom and there was a fish just came screaming up to it. Then went right back down to the bottom. Oh, he's coming back up, coming back up. Got him. Oh, no, he dropped it. That fish should hit again. I didn't sting him at all. I think he just had the, the piece of bait there. And he's coming right up for it again. Bunch of fish down there. Nice big red mark. Got him. What I did with this one is I, that's a nice fish. Probably another nice perch, I would guess. What I had to do with this one is I dropped it all the way on bottom then lifted it up and, oh, big yellow, big yellow. Nice big jumbo yellow. That's like a 12, 13 inch perch. This one took a little convincing. I had to work that one pretty good. He was pretty fussy. So for the first time since I punched this hole, I'm not seeing any activity on the screen. There's nothing, there's not even anything on bottom. Oh, this hole died right off. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna move in a little shallower. I'm gonna take a trap out and just jig in that hole, see how that goes. Cause I'm just about done. All right, that hole shut right off. So I'm gonna move in a little closer. I'm gonna take out uh, one of my traps. Cause I'm just about done. I only have about 20 minutes left. So, so I'm gonna pop two traps out, jig in my closest one to shore and hopefully find a few more fish in that hole. I'm gonna do a quick check in this hole, see if there's any fish. Looks like there may be a little activity on bottom. Oh, fish on it immediately. Fish. Got him. Nice white perch. So I was just checking this hole. I didn't even really have the camera set up. I was uh, just poking around down there, see if I could mark anything, and a fish came up for it. All right, so that was just one lone perch there. All right, folks, that is all for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'll show you real quick what I was using. This is a 28 inch medium, way too big for what I'm actually using it for, but it's all I had. This is just a standard conventional reel that I put on it. Again, probably way too big of a reel, but that's all I had to work with. Four pound test, and I was using a homemade jig. I tied this up last night, used some of my fly tying stuff, and the fish were all over that. They, uh, they weren't into the chartreuse tungsten I was using earlier, but they were hitting this one pretty good. That's a gold bead with a lead inner wrapped. And I can't remember the name of that material, but it's like a it's like a plastic rubbery tubing that I just wound on. And using night crawlers, and once I ran out of them, I used a uh, cut up sucker and uh, the fish were all over it. And the flasher I've been using is a Markham LX5. So far I really like this. Uh, it's actually a used unit. I picked it. I picked it up used. I ordered one from Amazon, and after waiting for about three weeks for it, they emailed me and uh, said it was no longer in stock, and and they weren't planning on getting any in stock. So I had to pick that one up used. But uh, so far I like it. It's been working pretty good. This is my second full day using it, in between the one or two flags I got today. But uh, definitely hooked on it. I think it's great. I think it'll definitely change the way you fish. So if you're looking at getting into one, I would certainly go for it. 
just amazing how sensitive them things are. I mean, they pick up little tiny perch, you know, way down on the bottom and make it so you can see fish that you never know was there. But I still have two traps I gotta pick up and I gotta head out of here. So we'll see you guys on the next one.